This is the Chief and Sean Show, and we are live in the 405. We're not live, but we are back. We're live. No, we're not. We are back. And we're live. Weekly, not live. We're sort of live. Okay, to uh, everyone listening, or, well. The well, f- the, the people who are listening. The few the that few. listen. Here's the deal. <laughs> Speed Society is going to be hosting all of these podcasts. You're going to be seeing a ton from these guys. I've, like, they're yeah. how big are they, Sean? Uh, it's the biggest automotive website in the world, and I mean, they got a lot of cool shit. Yeah, we're stoked to be working with guys like that for sure. Anytime we can align ourselves with other huge automotive people, this is perfect. So, also, stop listening now and go and like it and comment on it. And the sooner you do that, hopefully, the more podcast episodes you'll hear yeah go ahead yeah the crow 405 murder nova midway street cars like it comment on us tell us who you are tell us why you listen to it keep this going please there are people that are, don't want this to keep yeah, there's going people right now trying to make trying to put an end to this they, they so, don't want us on the air and we got guys like speed society that want to help us keep it going so welcoming us let's do it rock and roll help everybody out and while you're there check it out their website's awesome here we are live live well Live. <laughs> you you okay. were about to say. All right, fuck it. We're, 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 fuck it. We're live. I'm live right we're now. Live. There ain't we're, no doubt about it. We're I'm live the, every morning. We're live. We are live. We are we're live. And this is a very, very, very special edition. It is, it is. of the Chief and Sean Show. I believe it is. We have none other than the one, the only. Can we say it? Are we allowed to talk know. about it? We're not supposed to talk about. It, but it's he's so here. weird. He's it's so here. weird. I think we have to talk about it because he's here. We yep. can talk about it because he's here. Right. Right? He, hey, I don't know of any time that Manza has ever been mad at us whenever we say it to his face. No, but he doesn't when, get mad no. whenever we talk. But when we say, but it, we can say the same thing behind his face. Behind his face, <laughs> yeah. When his face isn't around, yeah. and then he gets upset. And then he gets upset. So introduce yourself, our special guest in the studio. <laughs> I know, I know. For one, my wife's excited that you're here. Is so, she? Yeah, wow, your wife. She, likes she Monza? really likes Monza. Really? Yeah. Ooh, I didn't know. Wow, there you go, Monza. And she has for a while. That's really? what he's told me anyway. That's what she <laughs> told you. <laughs> she told you that. Yeah. No, she's she thinks nice. this car is the best one on the show. It is one she, of the sexiest she, cars I've ever seen. It, it used to be. You got to see it now. Well, it's well, all fucked up. It's we'll all talk about that in a little bit. All, up. But, all right. So I think you can tell us about yourself. You know the drill here. I mean, introduce yourself to uh, to the to the tens of listeners that we have in the nation. The Chief yeah. and Sean Nation. That's what I'm calling it now. Chief and Sean Nation. I think it only takes like 11 people to make a nation. And so I we, think we probably got 11 people. We are the yep. Chief and Sean Nation. Moving on Introduce up. yourself to the nation. First of all, I'm sure we got at least 13 today because I know my wife Uh-oh. and my daughter is going to be listening Uh-oh. to see if they need to jump Uh-oh. on y'all's ass for anything. <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> and they are they are the biggest advocators of putting something they're, in Chief and Sean's mouth. They to are us waiting up. right now to post bad shit about us on the internet. Yes. Yeah, it's, just uh, be careful what you say because you don't. <laughs> mama don't like you fucking with dad, and, and daughter don't daughter don't like that shit either. Uh, that, well, daughter doesn't like. Me, period. Yeah. So no matter what I say, she he said that me. one time that she really don't like yeah. you. And, and you know, so. hey, hey, there's not everybody is gonna like me. That's no. okay. I have one list. That she likes Sean. And, well, see, there you go. See, some, some, see, it goes. We, sometimes people like Sean and sometimes people like Chief, but I don't not like either one of you. No, nobody likes us both. No, she just didn't like anybody talking about her dad when he was walking around on crutches. That, that all right, that so got let's, the best all right, fuck it. let's just let's dive into <laughs> let's that right now. Let's, this yeah, let's, is let's this is what it. started the whole thing with Manza. Okay, so we we decided to do this stupid podcast thing, and we figure we got at least ten or eleven people that want to listen to it, and so we started doing it here in the office. And the, one of the first ones we did. <laughs> Was when we got back from it's, SEMA. It's the infamous number three. And the, yeah, and nobody it's gone. has it's ever the heard number it. three episode that no one. If you got to hear it, you are very lucky because very that lucky. episode went away I very still have quickly it. because there was a lot of backlash. You still what? I, I still have it. You have the number three. I do. That's I the still have a first way one that, I ever listened to. I still. I still. <laughs> <laughs> sucks, I'm sorry. That's, that's, I still have a way that we could all listen. The to The infamous. It. Okay, when we get down here, we're gonna listen to it. Okay. All right. Uh, the well, infamous, you know I don't. Yeah. But Aaron, right. she could bring it up. The infamous number three podcast that, that, that went away and was it was taken off the air really quickly because we were at SEMA and we were hanging out with Manza and we were having a great fucking time. And we all we all literally we had a really good time. It was, a, it was awesome. But he was injured. Okay, so he had he had he had 
karate kicked a uh, man thief. down, man a down. He, he karate kicked at somebody who was trying to steal his tackle box out of his pickup, right? <laughs> and his skittles and beef and jerky his, was and in there. <laughs> and his skittles and beef jerky was in there, right? So Dude, it was sure a legit, was. it was a legit deal. So he tries to kick this guy. This guy's breaking into his truck. He sees the guy. He runs out there. He tries to. The guy takes off running, and he tries to karate kick him. And he he kicked him. He did, yeah. his, did his job, but then he fell down and he he hurt Land, himself. Landed on the curb. So he's on crutches. I did knock him on his ass though. It's just right. Yeah. I got the kicking shit figured out. The landing I didn't have quite <laughs> figured out. You didn't perfect that shit yet. <laughs> so being the badass that Monza is. He fights this dude in the street. He goes down. He gets injured, and he's got to he's got to be on crutches. So he goes to the SEMA show, even though he's on crutches, knowing that he's gonna have to walk around everywhere out there. And we had to park like we only had two rental cars, I think, for the whole lot of us, and we had to park like a mile or two At miles, at least no, a mile from the from the damn yeah. It was place. a long time, a long ways. And we caught a ride to go to get our. To get our rental car, we caught a ride with uh, somebody. Some, somebody, yeah, somebody. And, and and we're driving to go get our rental car, and as we're driving, <laughs> we see man Monza, and he's and click, he crutching, he's it. clicking it down the road on his crutches on the sidewalk, and the look on his face was just so it was it was it was just he was just done with yeah it people. looked like he had had enough and there's people all around him walking with him talking to him god only knows what they're bugging him about and yeah. trying to take pictures with him and he's just wanting to smoke his cigarettes and click <laughs> down the road on these crutches and for whatever reason at that time the look on monza's face of just being done because he's you know it killed he, him. i don't know that he was a he was a big people person back then <laughs> yeah. and so i don't know why it was so funny but we just like but we were also man we had been up for days we yes. were all tired, yes. and whenever we're like that, it doesn't matter what it is. We just well, fucking laugh. And and the whole time we we were with Monza, we were fucking with him about his crutches, and he, yeah, and he, his uh his scooter, little, little scooter, scooter, yeah. scooter hover around, he was hover around. around <laughs> and he would go park that thing behind a Pepsi dispenser or something, so he could smoke a cigarette. People wouldn't bug him, and we just and get a soda pop. Remember, yeah, for fifty yeah, cents. Soda, yeah, yeah, remember? yeah, for fifty. Yeah, cents. we were drinking five dollars freaking beers, and he's like, "Dude, I found a machine that's got fifty cent soda pops." And, and we it was fucking died. It was made for the people who work there, <laughs> <laughs> so they didn't have to pay the outrageous prices or wait in the lines <laughs> and all that. And man's was back there smoking cigarettes, drinking fifty cent pops with them. Fuck so yeah. he. He had us laughing hysterically the whole week we were at SEMA. And then yes. on the plane ride home, oh we start God. talking about stuff, and we start getting to laughing and giggling. And it was really, and, really late. And it was really late. The plane ride was a you know midnight flight. Everybody on there is trying to sleep, and we're just dying laughing. And yeah. so that was the first time I had actually heard Monza laugh. And it was like genuine His laugh. real laugh, it you know what I mean? It was hilarious. And he starts this high-pitched like giggle. And it dude, was the funniest shit I've ever I heard. I couldn't stop laughing. Like I, we were, it was, it was, there, it was uncontrollable. It was. You know what I mean? And these people kept shushing us. This old lady behind Monza, us. Monza looks over me and he goes, did she just fucking shush me? And dude, I'm dying laughing, right? It was one of the funniest moments of my entire life on yeah. the airplane ride home. So then we get home and we go to do the podcast and we just, it was talked, the funniest we thing We talked ever. about everything that we thought was hilarious at the SEMA show. And we just went off on everything. Well, we didn't take into consideration that once we got home, he wasn't there with us anymore, so it may not have been funny to everybody like it was to us. And yeah. and they they felt terrible for you know his family and and everybody really felt terrible for him because he's got to walk around on crutches for a fucking week at the SEMA show and deal with idiots all day. So it did. It may have been in poor taste, out of context. But if they would have been there with us and yeah. we were all laughing yeah. together, I think they would have understood that we were really laughing with you. You just weren't here with us. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, so, well, I'm I'm a poor taste type cat too and you that's know? i don't care if it's funny it's funny with us and the way it is at the shop and on the show and everything we do there's just nothing sacred between this group normally yes. and mons is really good about that when we're in person we can make fun of whatever we want and he'll laugh right there yes. with us and he can tell us to eat shit and we can tell him to eat shit we all have a good time well, if i didn't feel like he was our friend then i wouldn't do that with him yeah that's the yeah exactly so well, once it went down and it hit the air, we caught a lot of backlash from Monza's fans and Monza's family that we were making fun of his injury. And I don't think that they understood that we were more laughing about the fact that he was just not built for, uh, you know, big crowds of people at that time. Or crutches. Or crutches. Yeah. 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 It sucked. So, And it was funny to us that 
when he, that when he told us how he hurt his leg was yeah. that some yeah. guy was trying to steal the tackle box out of his pickup. I mean, we that was just it was just so funny because you know he's he's a camouflage wearing hunting yeah. fishing bad motherfucker, and so that was the funniest thing ever to us is that you know he's fighting a guy in his front yard over a tackle box, and then when we asked him like what was you know why can't you just get a new one, he said my skittles and my beef jerky was in there, you know, <laughs> and like, that's just... and, and I'm sure it would have been one of those deals where if we made fun of it now that he's healed all up, everything would have been great. Yeah, but nobody time... would have had a problem with it. But at the time he was still hurt. You know, and his family, you know, they care well, about and him. They have so to they, deal, they see they have what he's dealing with. They have to deal with him. So when he gets off the plane and gets home, he's, he's probably, probably going to be laid up for a week because he's hurt from walking around at SEMA. And yeah. And two assholes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fucking yeah. armpits are raw from walking around on fucking crutches fucking four miles a day. I mean, shit. Yeah. Yeah. You don't <laughs> walk that seven. far not on crutches. No. I mean, the second day, finally Dave went in there, and they wasn't even going to give me a cart, and Dave started crawling in people's ass and got me one of them little motorized scooters yeah that was way better but they wouldn't let me drive the sandwich to the car yeah yeah <laughs> that's chicken shittery so for what i don't know you know sometimes we do things in poor taste and that may have been one of them but at the time we didn't we didn't know what we were we didn't know what we were doing fuck we still don't know what we're doing. we piss people off on a daily basis right. but we didn't want to piss so, off monty it and, irritated me because we're friends you know and it kind of kind of hurt my feelings but it bothered my wife and my daughter and them a whole lot more than it did me and i can understand that yeah i I I can too but we definitely didn't mean to hurt your feelings no it it, wasn't it wasn't like it was meant for that i i I, I we laughed about it like you were here with us yeah we kind of yeah to us it was it was a situation that we were all in at sema and 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 we just thought it was a funny situation to be in now once we get home and once everybody started jumping our ass about it we kind of realized that well you know they 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 weren't there with us. The people that that you know they they didn't see how much of a group we were there and how much of a good time we had on the plane and stuff. So I think it could have been just associated as us just picking on him. And, and we yeah. really that wasn't the intention, but sometimes it comes off that way. You know. Yeah, but I mean? instead, like, we had to talk about it. You know, and and we did actually get in trouble, and people asked us to take it down, and we weren't going to. But then you know, we kind of had like a little <laughs> meeting, and we were like, yeah. Like we don't want to make Monza any more pissed off than what he already is at us. So yeah, we we, we took like, it down. We like Monza, and we don't want Monza to hate us or his family to hate us. But so we took it down. So that episode went away, and so ever since then we've had this kind of running thing that we don't talk about Manza on the show because it could be taken the wrong way, or we'll say it the wrong way, or whatever, and yeah, and then we'll get in trouble. So so that's how it all started, and then also the the help to even go back like the the Manza thing, like. <laughs> His name, you know, his nickname was Monza. Yes. Right? Mayhem Monza. That Thank you, Sean. Name. That was. He called, started calling me Monza one night at Sonic, remember? Yeah. And no. it, it freaking stuck. Well, I don't, I, I'm, anybody who knows me. You knows probably don't I remember am. you were drunk that night. Well, and anybody who knows me knows that I am fucking horrible with names. I have, and, and you drive a Monza, you know, so. Or he did. I didn't, I didn't time. know. You, you know, know I farm truck like, still calls me Monzilla. Monzilla. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we, yeah. so. So he had a Monza back in the day. That was his race car. And it was a fast, wicked little bitch. And it mm-hmm. had a small block and it kicked ass. It was it was a it was a top five car and it was a con- cash days contender and, and the whole deal. If you could keep pistons in that bitch, it'd run. Yeah, I mean, hey, you know, back then you were doing a lot of shit with something that, you know, not everybody was trying to do. So yeah. but then it went from Monza <laughs> to how did it go to, to Manza? It went to Manza because whenever I race somebody on the street all of my race pack data yeah i save it <laughs> i save it under what race it was and then in the comments i try to i don't always do it but i try to tell a little bit about the race what i felt like happened in the car what the shocks were set at you know all that stuff so that i could go back and and look and this is in the data logger this on is in car. the data logger on my car and he's there, showing me the data there is no monza race on there it's a manza race so when i so, looked, when i looked at the data in his car one day and I, I'm looking at the the shocks and what they're doing, and I'm trying to compare it to mine from the, the same race. And I'm going, "Where's your Where's your pass against <laughs> when, Monza?" When you raced Monza, and he goes, "Oh, it's it's over here." And I, I wasn't looking for M A, <laughs> so I was looking for M O, you know, because that's how you spell fucking <laughs> exactly. Monza. But Sean had it in there. As hey, I don't Manza. I don't think Sean did that. I think it was. Lutz. I think our buddy Jeff Lutz did that one night. But man, whenever he used to, I, I wouldn't even get out of the car. And he is so gung ho that he would run over and he'd have my race pack and he'd be downloading it before, before I even got out of the car. And Jeff Lutz and, can't spell Monza, I guess. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that our our good friend Jeff Lutz 
put Manza in there. So and ever since then, it, we, we called them well, Manza. Well, because we had to keep referring back to, you know, well, what about the Manza pass? Because that's exactly. what it was called in his exactly. computer. So then before you know it, we're calling him Manza. And then the whole shop's calling him Manza. And then it just. And then it's like, hey. Well, it must have been a pretty that. fast pass if you keep referring back to well, it. It was. At it the was, time, it was as fast That's the reason it was one of the fastest passes I ever made. Right. You know, and it was one of the ones where me and you, every race we ever have is within a fender. Yeah, you know, that's I mean, why. So we kept going back to it for all these changes, and every time it was like, "Yeah, but in the man's a pass," and we yeah. just start laughing. And then, know? and then you know, at first it was a it was a funny joke, and then after that it was Manza, you know, Manza this and Manza that, and it's kind of and it allows us to talk about Monza on the show without talking about Monza. Exactly we're talking about Manza. We just right? started talking about Manza. <laughs> you remember? Loophole. You remember racing the Monza when you had the the blower on your car over there by uh, across from B and R by the Chevy place there. It was the a gateway? cash days. You race no, we, we were racing for the number one and number two spot back when you had the oh, blower car. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And we yep. remember we're driving from B&R over there, list racing. We raced Doc. Yeah. And that, that was a shakeup that. night. Yeah, yeah and we got back over there, there, and he's like, God dang. He said, I could not get away from that little fucking car. <laughs> no, it was right there the whole race. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and that that's was... whenever, I mean, I felt like the, what I had going on with my car at the time was, felt like it was unbeatable well, it was unbeatable at the time you know? nobody had been even close. oh you beat then, me but it i was right yeah, there and, yeah but he was, was right there and we were all like holy shit monza, I know. Monza's little fucking for real. small block in that yeah. monza little small block nitro cars for real right now yeah. so yeah. yeah that man back god damn that was badass back in the day at gateway with, that was with so those sweet cars. we drove our cars you remember over there? the night i met you in guthrie no, no on 39th i hadn't even you had never seen my car met me I, so <laughs> okay yeah and i remember now i was selling t-shirts back then out of the back of my fucking truck yeah, and you asked me what kind of car you got, and I told you blah blah blah. And I said he said what it run. I said it runs nine fifties in the quarter. And he's like, you're fucking shit me. Come bring that motherfucker out. Well, then the next weekend we were in Guthrie with. Yeah, him. yeah, because he said, well, yeah, here's this guy that I had never even met before, and he's wanting to buy a t-shirt from the website, which I was pedaling the same shit we're pedaling now. I was out of the suburban, out of the suburban, with my Weimaraner dog in there with me, Chief, and he's telling me he's got this big tired lightweight car with a small block runs 950s and i was like wait a minute you got a 950 street race car and why aren't you out there street racing with us like that that would be a competitive car back then hell that was what 2000 fucking I don't know, I don't six know. probably that was probably 10 years that ago. was before sean was around yeah yep. and so it was about the time it was like a month or two yeah because the only I time around. i had ever seen you you were pulled over on 39th <laughs> in some 68 or 69 camaro <laughs> with a blower hanging out the hood <laughs> yeah yeah uh, yeah, so, and then you brought the car out, and we went to uh, Guthrie that next weekend. See, I wasn't and there. And you brought the car. We went up to Guthrie, and that road up there was uh, Blacktop. Black Top. Lowry's yeah. is what everybody called it, Lowry's. Yeah. I guess that was probably, was that one of the farms around there, the land around there was owned by Lowry's? I don't know, but uh, it was Highway 77 up there yeah. north of Guthrie, and off that, off that bridge by the railroad tracks, we were racing there. And, dude, that is the worst fucking street race spot in it's history. It's horrible. But for whatever reason, it was it was some of the most fun times we had on the street because, you know, back before we were putting the cars in the ditches up there. But, I mean, like, you know, back then, dude, and it was so terrible because we'd be racing. So all the people would be out there watching the race on the bridge. Two cars would be in the road getting ready to race. And then the train would come. And the train's 50 foot from the road, and we're all parked on the other side of the tracks. Yeah. So when the train came, we just all had to wait because yep. we couldn't even get to our cars. If the cops came, we'd just be all standing out there. Yeah. We couldn't even get to the cars. And then sometimes the train would just stop, and we'd be like, uh, son of a bitch. Son yeah. of a bitch. How long is this going to last? You know, We couldn't even get back to our car. But, but narrow, the super The ditches narrow were 10-foot tall. The ditches are just terrible on both sides, and we're out there racing cars on blacktop, quarter mile. That was fucking stupid. And Monza come out there, and he seen the road, and he was like, he was like, whoa <laughs> i was like yeah, yeah buddy that's a tough little motherfucker right there and he ended up racing uh the demosses and the demosses up there they're well, of known, course they're known for that spot they're kind yeah. of they rule that spot and uh they do a lot of street racing they've been in cash days they've been all over the place they've been on the show a couple times and you know they haven't really got to show what they're actually capable of on the show on the tv show part because you only get really one or two shots at that deal and uh but they're actually they have been a big part of street racing around here especially yeah. up that way and dude they start mouthing off to monza and i still to this day have not seen him that mad he was fucking livid monza, and my fucking uh, crew was gone they got caught on the other side of the fucking jeremy. train that was come through oh, yeah. truck jeremy so right? i'm fixing to fight this whole family and my crew can't get over here to help me 
<laughs> that's, no, seriously, there's a train, and it's just us standing out there, and the demon houses, and, you know, they got 30 fucking family members well, They knew there. not to park on the other side. <laughs> yeah, because they, they live there. They ain't parking on the other side. Yeah. So, Mon's just screaming out, get that piece of shit out in the road. I'm going to fucking drag your ass. And I was like, oh, yeah, this guy's going to fit in perfect with us. He did, too. He put that little motherfucker down through there. He forced it down that narrow ass road. I was impressed. I was with like, my old lady sitting in the passenger seat. Yep. <laughs> yep, that's exactly yeah. I'm like, you want to ride, babe? Hell yeah! <laughs> She's fucking nice. crazy for going down that road because that road's fucking narrow. And I was watching him go down through, and I was like, yep. I was like, he's gonna he's gonna fit in just perfect with our little group. And uh, I think that was the last pass you made in Guthrie, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but we don't like racing up there with the fast car. Saul, that's uh, a, yeah. you. You got to drive on that road. Yeah. Saul Sosa put his in the ditch up there, flipped it up on, yeah, one, side, on one side, flipped yeah. it back over and had it back out Saturday night on 39th. Yep. Yep. Two yeah. days later. Yeah, yeah. He was up there for a Thursday night list race. One of the Demosses wanted to race him up there. And that's where they always wanted to race people was up there and pissed everybody off. But we'd go up there and Saul went up there and raced them, put it in the ditch, flipped it up on one side. And then Saturday night had it out at Sonic. There's still grass coming out between the wheel and the tire. He was, all yeah. beat up. Yeah. And, uh, he was out there racing though. That was he, that was yeah. when we used to give away the awards. Remember, we gave away street racer awards on the website. Yep. And he got hardcore street racer of the year. I think Derek got it one time too. Doc got it. Doc got it too. Yep. Yeah. So, but that was the that's kind of the history. Since then, obviously, Mons has been. A big time force in the 405 on the list. He's always, you know, always top five, you know, been number one a few times, uh, a long reign at the top of the list and very consistent and out of town. It, it's just, there's very few people that you want to take out of town besides him. You know what I mean? Because he's going to do work. You know, he's, he's going to do work. Yeah, he's That's got just, a really good record against out of town. He has a really people. good record against out of town. And, uh, what sucks is that, the last time he raced the Detroit guys, out of town guys, uh, Brian Davis was putting it on him pretty good. Crossed the center line, you know, had Monza beat, but but crossed the center line, so Monza got paid. But then when Detroit came back around, Monza's car was having fits, giving him trouble, and um, he he even told me straight up a few days before that he wasn't sure that he'd put it up against any of those guys until he gets it figured out. So, uh, lo and behold, same type of race with Brian Davis. He crosses the center line again, and now look where we're at. Son of a bitch. So, so and I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. I mean, no. you, you, you got luck of the draw and ended up beside him, and it cost you your car. But, and yeah. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. If my shit would have been ready, I'd have been right there beside him. Yep. Yep. And that's, you know, that's uh. It's crazy. You look back through this shit that we do, and one little, one little thing, one little decision, one little, one little thing can mean everything, you know. So, it's a uh, lot of, lot of crazy shit like that over the years. Um, and, but then, so you had your Monza car, the small block. It um, did really well in cash days. Did really well against out of towners. Did really well on the list. You know, it, it did, it did work. And, uh, but it was an old, unsafe, out of date race car all square to i mean everybody thinks it was light with that car with a small block weighed 3160 with me in it well back then to us that was light most of yeah. our cars were 34 36. 30, yeah, 30, 36. Right. 36 i mean you know 3100 back then was actually a pretty lightweight street car and because i remember when the el camino when we bought it and it was 3150 or whatever and we were like yeah i'm still trying to get to 31 <laughs> shit uh but eventually you sold the monza and built you well. You had a Mustang for a little while there, and then yeah, small racing. tire car. Yeah, he mm -hmm. did the um, ten and a half inch tire stuff for a while. Did really well in that. Got championship or two back to back, back to back, back to back, two time, two time, two time. That's right, two time, two time, two time. Two time. He had that on his jacket. Oh, two time, two time Monza. Yeah, he was a two time champion on the ten five tire stuff. So he's been a you know big big drag racer around here, especially in this group and and in, at the track even and everywhere else. Uh, and now. You have a 70, what year Camaro? 72 Rally Sport Camaro. 72 Rally Sport Camaro. A beautiful car. Everybody, you know, no yeah. one can deny how nice that car is and how fast that car is. Um, and that's the, what you call a split bumper car. That's why your car is called the split bumpers because it has two smaller bumpers on both sides. And that was the upgraded Camaro, right? So Rally, the, rally Sport package. Rally sport. It was a $695 package you could put on the car. Man, can you then. imagine nowadays? What that car cost brand new? Thirty two hundred bucks. God damn. 
I'll take I'll take ten of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right now. If I didn't know yeah. now or yeah. knew then what I know now, I'd have had a dozen of them sitting <laughs> in a shop somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh so, but it was a true rally sport car. Yeah, we did cut it up, fuck it up, and make it fast <laughs> as hell. <laughs> hey, that's, I'll never look down on somebody for cutting up a cool. car. Hey, you hear people all the time bitching about you know him cutting up a real rally sport car, and I think it's cool as fuck. It's your fucking car, man. Yeah, you do whatever the fuck yeah, you, want, you want. If you want to cut it up into little bitty pieces and make it fast, you go for it. And now, geez, I've seen some updated pictures of that thing. And, woof. It's really cut it's up really now. It's really cut yeah. up now. But that's it. Evolution, man. Yep. Evolution. If you want to stay competitive, yep. that's what you got to do. You got to keep working on the car. Uh, that's why your your Facebook is Sinister Split Bumper Monza. Because now you have the Split Bumper Camaro, and it's sinister because it's all black and badass. And then you, you everybody still knows you as Monza for whatever reason. So your Facebook is Sinister Split Bumper Monza. Everybody go right now. Shoot him a like. Uh, check him out. Follow him. Share his shit. You know, help, help everybody find him on, on Facebook. And then your website is sinister split right Correct. yep and uh buy a t-shirt you know koozie hat whatever you can get off of him support support the guys who who do this for a living now and, and really have to make have to make this work um and all the questions we're going to be pulling for um, monza here in a little bit are from the chief and sean show facebook page so um i'm scared if you're <laughs> there's, some, there's some good you, ones. Sh- you should be scared there are some good questions if you're uh, if you're listening on iTunes, be sure and subscribe to the Chief and Sean Show. Leave us a review, and that's the way that we're going to climb up those charts and keep the show rolling. Because we got a lot of listeners, literally tens of listeners, yeah, that are downloading it. But in order elevens to climb, of listeners, elevens, yeah, I think we're up to. I, I believe of so, listeners. man. A few people have been. Hey, at least one person told his buddy about it. Soon we may be teens of listeners, <laughs> teens, <laughs> and then twenties of listeners. Twenty. Can you? I don't, think, I don't think we can get to twenty. Hey, and if, if we ever make it to 40s or 30s of listeners, dude, that's fucking big time. It is. So, it is. Uh, but the but the reviews and stuff, that's how we're going to go up to the charts and keep the show rolling. Um, and I don't know if anybody paid fucking attention because they sure are there to bitch about us when we fuck it up. But last week with Birdman, the fucking audio was on point. I apologize if this week's audio sucks and right <laughs> yeah. now you can't hear me because I don't know what it sounds like, but. Last week we fucking nailed it. Kill bastards better Killed be happy. Uh, and um, yeah, nobody says anything. No, but if it sounds like shit, that's all we hear. It sounds like shit. Get some yeah. mics. Was, it was, yeah, get your just... audio guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Do yeah. this. I get tired of reading it. <laughs> I get private messages and stuff talking yeah. about. Look, this is how you need to do it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> okay. Well, you wasn't there. We're trying, player. Yeah. We're trying. We really are. Uh, last week was a good one, though. We we did pretty good last week, and I'm hoping that this week's going to be just as good, if not better, because we got. Manza, Manza in the show. Thanks, Sean. Every yep. nickname I've gotten in the last 10 years has come from you. Yep. Yep. I can't uh, help it. Horrible with names. Except your own. I'm I, when Sean, and when Sean, gets, when Sean gets drunk or when he's drinking, oh my God. you know, and he introduces himself to people he already knows with his full name, dude, that's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. He don't just say it. He yells it. Yeah, he people, well, people they'll walk up to him, and they'll be like, hey, hey, what's up, man? And they know him. They've met him before. They've talked to him before. And he literally doesn't <laughs> care to even rem- he doesn't remember Sean them. Sean Ellington. He doesn't care. He sticks his hand out, and he goes, Sean Ellington. Mm-hmm. And they're like, uh, yeah. yeah. No, we, we know. I know you. And, and dude, it just yeah. kills me. I yeah. love it. I'm, that, I'm horrible with with names and people and things like that. Dates. Yeah, d- dates, months, you know, stuff like that. Birthdays. Yeah. Uh, anniversaries. Wedding anniversaries. Yeah. Yep. But that's why we love you, Sean. Yeah. We're in the we're in the truth we're in the truth meth shack here. The yeah. the meth shack of truth. Uh I know the questions are looking just out of hand, but uh one 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 big question that I saw how how did the story of Doc and Monza, the love story of Doc and Monza, even better than the, <laughs> the than, than the love Twilight story. love story? This yeah. is this is the love story of Doc and Monza. How and it's that, a saga. How it's did that it, start? How, how does it become a saga? What do you mean love story? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, Chief and Sean have their own. Love There's story. so many stories between me well, and Doc. What do you, which one are you talking well, about? I mean, you know, as as you how say did y'all become the, friends? As you say on the show, you guys are best friends. You're hunting buddies. You're racing fran- friends. You you know. How, I I your met man. Doc one day through a mutual friend, he come pulling up in his street beast, giving people rides up and down the road, doing flame and burnouts <laughs> so up and down the changed. road. 
No. Because he still no. does that. Yeah. I mean, and, uh, <laughs> and then he wanted to. So it was like a blind date? Or what? I, <laughs> no, I mean, it, it, he just kind of appeared one day and, Never and we left, started huh? talking and then he wanted to know how to make his car faster and I told him some shit. I said, I got the Jags catalog out. I said, you need to order this shit right here. And about four days later, he called me. I showed up over at his shop, and he's got boxes of new shit everywhere. Help me make my car fast. Was he wearing a Skid Row t-shirt? <laughs> it's probably Motley Crue. Oh, yeah. That's so, so that's one thing that you two have in, in common. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, we're, he's close to my age. We both listen to the same kind of music. What, and what kind of music is that? That'd be 80s. <laughs> Hair metal. Hey, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Hair metal. Dude, Cinderella, Motley Crue, Skid Row. I mean, they all. That's all I just. My, my, go to my truck right concert. now. It's on Hair Nation. That's what you're going to listen to. So you guys like go to concerts and stuff together too? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. I go. Fuck, fuck yeah. Damn. <laughs> we'll always imagine when you guys are going out of town and you're riding together. Yeah. Hey. We'll see you in the truck and we'll say, What do you think they're listening to right we now? Do that. We don't we're know all, if you know. Motoring. <laughs> What's your price for flight? <laughs> we, uh, every time we see you guys, like, hey, the, 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 the first time this came about was PRI, the first time we ever went to PRI. And you guys rented that little fucking. You guys rented a car to drive up there, right? No, he borrowed one from his, his friend. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, it was one of them little half what electric kind of car. car. It was like a little Prius or some shit. It was a Prius, shit. yeah. Hey, and literally. we died laughing, thinking about what you guys might have been listening there, to. We hid that bitch in the parking hour. garage and never got it back out the whole time we were there. They drove from Oklahoma City to Indianapolis to PRI show in a Prius. Jamming, listening hey, to Motley Crue. Man, fuck, right, fuck. fucking ass. Hey, the whole ride up there, we're going. That's what they drove up here, and so we're dying laughing. We're just in tears. And so we're like, "What do you guys think that they're listening to?" And just the 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 oldies but goodies God, that we came up with. And was then just... we were trying to figure out, like, so you think Mons is the air guitar type like, cat, or is he a drummer on the dash type <laughs> dude? You know what I mean? Is mine is is Doc over there? Just wailing on the air guitar yeah. while Mons Here I go <laughs> again on my own. <laughs> go down this slowly. Ride. Just in a Prius. And the we windows, just and the, died you know, the windows are down because Mons is just you know, Marlboro Reds as, as fast as he nah, can. he wouldn't let me window. smoke into that damn thing because his friend didn't oh, well, smoke. Man, it probably took uh, you guys 18 hours. I had to, to buy one of them fake cigarettes and put one of those things all the way up there. You had one of those on the plane on the to Vegas, yeah, too, yeah, he dude. was smoking it. Oh, man. We'll be, we'll be signing autographs at Monza. Fucking greatest thing ever. We're signing autographs at Monza. There's there's three or four of us there. we got to do it for two or three hours straight. Take pictures, sign autographs at SEMA. We're having a good time with the fans. We're all hungover. We've been up for three days straight. And you just turn around, you just turn around and Monza's gone. He just left. And then he shows back up 15 minutes later, and you're like, what the fuck? And he's like, I went to smoke. I was like, man. Monza need his own fucking sign so that he can just put it out on the table. It says smoke break or 15 minutes I'm on break. Be back in 15 minutes. I go with him every fucking time, too. Yeah, he, he does. <laughs> I'll be like, you going out to smoke? All right, I'm, I'm, I'm coming with you. Oh, it's funny, dude. God damn, that shit's funny. Imagine them in that fucking Prius jamming up there the whole way. We were, that yeah, was some just, funny shit, dude. Just hey, dying. My family and Doc's family, we all went to a, a Kiss concert in Tulsa a couple years ago. <laughs> Hell and, yeah. And we meet that afternoon to go to the concert, and, and Doc shows up with like earrings and makeup and shit on, and I'm like, he was wearing makeup. Whoa. Yeah, so me and my old lady, Who we was? get we get about Doc. 15, Doc was wearing 20 makeup? yards separated from him. We won't even walk with him because he's all decked out. You he know? decks out in the kiss thing. You're shitting me. No, it's not a kiss concert. I mean, a costume, but he's got like he wears his earring and he's got oh your bandana shit. on his head, and I think he's even got some some makeup shit on his eyes. Wow, wow. we have to, okay. Someone you got remind pictures. Me. I probably got a picture of that oh somewhere. Wow, we, we would, uh, we would, that, yeah. that picture's got to come out. If we could, we would trade that for a lot of things. We That's would. a good picture to have right there. I had no idea that Doc actually gets that far. Into, I knew you guys were into hair metal, but so so yeah, I don't wearing, dress up and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Has he ever asked you if you would dress up with him? Uh, no. That'd be gay. <laughs> no, that'd be gay. Oh, and, we all, and we have a running joke, too, that because, you know, Doc is the first one to tell you that 
I'm not racing my. Remember back in the day when we were racing, if yeah. they ever drew each other, doctor, I'm not racing my buddy Monza. We're yeah. best fucking and Monza, friends. Monza be over there getting his car and, ready. And, <laughs> yeah, and no shit, dude. Monza be getting his car ready. He'd be like, yeah, well, whatever he says, you know. Yeah. But, so we always had this running joke like, the the friendship isn't as even as, as it's it's one sided. Doc really, 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 truly in his heart has a big spot for you, Monza. We can tell. Doc's a good guy. There's no doubt about it. What, he's he's a good friend to have. What I mean, the fuck does your hat say? It says I don't dial nine one one. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> That's so sweet. It means I'll break my fucking hip to kick the shit out of you. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Monza's hat right now says in big, humongous letters, "We don't dial nine one one," and it's got a picture of a thirty eight pistol on it. Thirty eight special. You are badass, man. Man. What does what does your shirt say? Mr. Paint. Oh, <laughs> that's fucking awesome. That's fucking awesome. <sighs> we don't dial nine one one. We'll karate kick you in the street for those skittles and beef jerky. Hell yeah! You know you go fishing, and the fish are biting. You don't have time to put your pole down and light a cigarette. So you keep this beef jerky chew in there. You can just take you a dip of beef jerky, and you don't really want to smoke as much. You can just keep fishing, slaying them, throwing them in an ice chest. Nice. There you go. Motherfucker I, stole my beef jerky. That pissed me I off. I didn't know that that's why. And that's the how you do jerky. it if you're a fisherman. So don't and, smoke. Uh, I mean, yeah, if they're biting, yeah. you know, that bite might only last so long. You don't want to stop and smoke. It ain't like signing autographs. <laughs> you can stop that anytime. You yeah. come back, they're still there. Smoke. <laughs> you can see, so you keep slaying them, throwing them in the ice chest. Well, see, you, you tens of listeners, elevens of listeners had no idea you were going to learn about fishing on yep. this show and now this is a i'm learning too we're all learning i don't know anything about fishing other uh, than i know i can you know i try and catch a buzz that's about all i ever catch. i know that whenever i go fishing i try to throw it clear across the lake <laughs> <laughs> if i see somebody else throw out there i try to throw a little bit further than what they do <laughs> that's the extent of my fishing now I look over at my head. yeah i'm like yeah. Flick of the wrist, bitch. You see that? <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Look at my Zebco 33 go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, I got a few Zebco. There's actually one in the back of my pickup right now. I have to have the one that you just push the, the deal That's on. That's what a Not the one that you flip up over because I don't know how to work that. Yeah, he'll, he'll bird nest that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Be standing there for hours yeah, trying to fucking yeah. make it back together. Yeah. <laughs> God, we, we should all go fishing together, man. Let's go. We should go fishing with. We should have a show, a TV show called Fishing with Manza. Yeah, and he takes somebody from the he takes somebody from Street Outlaws out there with him every fucking time. Can you imagine? He'd be yeah. bitching at us to shut yeah. the fuck up. Yeah, dipping beef jerky so juice. Smacked yeah. inside of him with a pole, <laughs> probably. Uh, so one of the other things that that uh, the internet is buzzing about is you know, young blood, uh, your son uh, Brandon, who has been a big, big part of what we do for a long time. And I mean, dude, it's like we saw him grow up. I mean, yeah, when he first started coming out to the races. He was what? 13, 14. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we literally saw this kid go from, from 13 or 14 to an adult. And every weekend he was out, even when you weren't racing, even when me and Sean were out in the you know red truck or his, his, yeah. you know, red truck or, or his white truck or whatever, we're out just racing, you know, 13 second Hondas and crap like that young blood was out there every weekend you could always count on young blood being out there racing. and i don't know how many times i've he's got races for me yeah, yeah. Get, oh you know, yeah the night he'll he, walk you took around the white truck out to uh, if i see him i'm like hey man i'm looking for a race yeah, otherwise yeah. i wouldn't be here and you know five minutes later he'd come back with a race for me then ain't flag it you know and he yeah. would he would actually go a lot of people they don't like young blood because of how they he was uh taken on the show but you know young blood has many different um emotions and many different you know he's very very passionate about what he's what he's doing out there yeah, so is. we've seen all of his different traits and we we take the good with the bad just like our own you know what i mean we all throw our ass around we all act stupid we all say things we wish we didn't say and but but we know each other and we know that 90 percent of the time we're not like that you know what i mean but that man that 10 percent of the time they they just happen to catch him on camera every time and well people, and that's what they look for too, right and, you know? yeah, and they I push mean, it out of him you know what i mean and so that a lot of people don't understand that Brandon is a big part of what we do, always has been, and he's really passionate about his old man's car, and he's really passionate about this street racing shit. And you know, but 
none of us, none of us have ever hated him or hate him. We've we've had our we've all had our spats with him. We've all yelled at him. He's yelled at us. We've, <laughs> yeah. we've gone back and forth. But in the end, he's he's one of us. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we'd do anything for him, just like we have. You know what I mean? I mean, hell. I give him money for for making it through high school. You know what I mean? Because yeah, dude. In in this day and age, you know what I mean to 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 do that where we came from and where we're coming from. You know, and and our backgrounds and stuff, dude. Just doing that's a big deal. So you know, we watched this kid graduate, go through high school. You know what I mean? Like that that actually was part of our racing and part of street racing is seeing him do this. And you know, he would borrow cars or drive a car for somebody or drive his own car, break it or whatever. And Sean. Sean would go get him a trailer, you know. I mean, we've all done a lot for Brandon, and we still would, and we still think a lot of Brandon. But the way that he was, he's been put out there on the show. They've only showed one side of him, and so nobody's got to see what well, Brandon really. And, and he's really Brandon. young, and and we've all had people hate on us the way that they hate, on, and, and he just didn't really. I don't feel like he knew how to take it. He, he, I mean, he won't even come out and help me with my car anymore because of the way the show portrayed him. Like the deal with Farm Truck and Asian, that was totally, he was set up. He told them his car wasn't going to be ready to race Farm Truck, and a certain fat-ass redhead yeah. <laughs> told him, let's go do the call out anyway, whether you're ready or not. And, you know, then she stuck a knife in his back and made him look like an asshole. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that, just like the night. I mean, he jumped on you when we and you raced. Well, he doesn't think nothing of that because he grew up with you. Yep. That was just normal. The way he would, you, you know, you would jump on his ass if he needed it. Yep. He that's the way he talks to y'all. He's grown up. I mean, he looks up to you two like he does me. And yeah. and we 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 consider Brandon one of our family too because we've seen him go through it. And that's why it, it that's why we actually give a shit whenever he is upset. So you know, just like um, <clears throat> just here not too long ago. Uh, everybody was was yelling at people for stepping in the tracks on the on the road or stepping in the puddle on the road, and it, it got to be kind of a, a a funny funny deal that that people were yelling about anybody stepping in the road, right? So anybody steps in the tracks, somebody's going to bitch at them. Well, Brandon was standing just he wasn't even in the tracks; he was just near them. And Alicia, my wife, she's she's walking up to the starting line with me because I'm going up to flag the next race, and man, she was just messing with him, and she was like get out of the tracks and she was being a smart ass but man he was so um emotional that night about the races that were going to happen and all the stuff that's been behind him that you know he took that as as us bitching at him and he got all pissed off and and you know of course we yelled back and forth and then he went and sat in the truck well if i didn't give a shit about him i would have let it go at that but i went over there to the truck and i said hey man you know she didn't mean nothing by that you know what I mean? Same as if I say something about you and he gets mad at me, I don't mean nothing by it, you know? Mm -hmm. So we really do care about Brandon and, and we don't want him to, to hate us. And we damn sure don't want him to not come out because of the way that people are. Exactly. But man, can you imagine if we were 13 or 14 having to deal with this kind of group at that age? You know what I mean? Like it would have been, it's dude, that's gotta be one of the toughest things ever because yeah. This group, that's all we do is we shit on each other all day, every day, and we all assume that it's no big deal. But to a to a teenager or a, even a you know <clears throat> a, a adolescent or whatever coming up, you know that's got to be tough, you know, to deal with us shitting on him or whatever. But it's nothing compared to the when you have millions of people yeah. shitting. Yeah, on what you. the yeah. people on Facebook are. Gonna Man, say, when yeah. you have millions of people shitting on you, that's tough. It was extremely tough for me the first two seasons of doing this because people hated on us so much and it was like i would get depressed reading it and i'd just sit there and be like god dude like why the fuck am i putting myself through this you know what i mean like that's not even me you know that they're talking shit about that's one little piece of me that they don't even fucking know yeah. but being 30 years old it's easier for me to move on than it would be for you know a guy like brandon he was young and pumped full of testosterone and pissed off you know what i mean so yeah like i and we went to bat for him a couple times on the internet but it didn't help it just made things worse if it seemed like if we even drew attention to it then more people would jump on yeah. him and more people would talk shit about him and <clears throat> and uh yeah he eventually shut down his facebook page i mean he won't come out and help me i mean and, and all brandon knows is street racing yeah. I mean, I guarantee you, he can back you up perfectly in your tracks. And y'all know he knows everything about it. I mean, he may not be the car builder or the tuner, but when you're sitting there in the road and you need some help, 
he will get you right and make sure and that you can go down. Either. And he doesn't no. mind helping. He doesn't mind racing. Yeah. And he doesn't mind, you know, doing big inner security, He's whatever we got to do. And when he would go out and we weren't there, he would make sure that they he didn't, ran shit. Yeah, didn't, I've been yeah, there they nights. Didn't, he made sure oh, yeah. they didn't Where hit he our, runs everything. Yeah, yep. They didn't hit our spots at the wrong times. They didn't leave trash everywhere. I mean, he he would he set security terrible. up. Yep. He would yep. keep people out of jail. Yep. Exactly. And he's kind of a little chief. It sucks that he's yep. that he's shut down so much because of the Facebook crap and because of the, all the shit talking. Because <clears throat> now, it you know we don't get to see him as much. We don't talk to him as much, and so it's really hard for anything we say to seem genuine because. You know what I mean? Like if we were to see him and say, hey, man, glad you're out here. You know, I almost feel like I'm a smart ass by saying it. You know what I mean? I'm, and I, so it's just like I'm afraid to I'm afraid to uh, to yeah. go over there because the cameras are always there. You know I, I mean? wish he'd get over it because I'm telling you right now, Brandon can smart ass with the best of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. He's a and fucking you know smart ass. Can, I really he can get and that started. You know, that's fine. There's no problem with that. He was he, a he, big part of my team. I mean, I had to learn to race over. Yeah. Because the last thing Brandon would always do when I got ready to make a pass, before Chief would pull us up, he'd open the door, fist bump me, and tell me, be careful, Dad. Wow. Yeah. That I miss. Yeah, He's never there anymore. So yeah. well, I've had to kind of learn to do it over. Well, and, hopefully uh, he'll, he'll well, I mean, you know, figure out his whatever he's got going on, and, and he'll come back out. Yeah, and it, it sucks because he can't be himself. You know what I mean? Because they're not going to show. But he can. He just needs to not get on the internet and read any of that shit. Who gives yeah, a shit? But it's like says. it's but like they had a they had a fucking hard on for him. They won't yeah. show none of the good shit, none of no. the good side about him. They want to make him. He they want to make him their villain yeah. right. on the show. Well, it's because the the ten percent of Brandon that is the smartass and the loudmouth and the and the emotional and the and the mad and the pissed off and the happy or whatever. The ten percent of that is is great for what you know they want to put on television but then the other part of brandon is you know he wants to help everybody he wants to be a part of everything and that doesn't work for them because he's supposed to be you know on your you know yeah. same thing with like monkey you know monkey helps everybody out there and, and everybody knows that monkey would help and and if you needed monkey he'd help you in a heartbeat but hell half the time they won't even let him help other people because they're like you can't help them you're supposed to be with chief you know what mm -hmm. i mean and so yeah. Even if he even if he doesn't work at the shop anymore, they're still they're still acting like he can't help other people. So they're only going to show certain you know ten percent of your life really. And <clears throat> unfortunately for Brandon, being at, you know where he is, I mean, dude, I can't imagine all the people just egging him on, you know, because they just they're just picking on him and going at him, going at him, going at him, and you know it it does it sucks, you know. But hopefully that's why I wanted to keep giving him chances racing his own car because. I know his car's fast. I've seen it go fast. It looks fucking killer. What? I mean, yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, but man, dude, I saw it in El Reno. Oh not yeah. Too long ago. God damn that yeah, car it, was it, sexy. Yeah. yeah. He it had was... that car looking right. Yeah. So, and you know, he's got an LS truck and stuff. I mean, you know, he's he's into the same shit we're into. You know what I mean? I mean, he, and he'll even try to tune himself. He'll try and learn to tune. I I I wish he'd come back around, and I wish that he could be his genuine self. You know what I mean, and and just try and try and try and come out a little more, or whatever whatever yeah. we got to do to help him. Because you know I miss I miss seeing him out there, and I miss seeing you happier. You know you're happier when he's there and you're doing good, or or and you know what I mean. And you're you know you're more comfortable when he's around. And but when it turns into everybody shitting on your boy, I can ex I can see where you're coming from. I mean, you know it's I mean? to the point, you know, where do I want him there and want him getting beat up? on the internet or do i say no stay home i got this you know that way i don't have to watch people pick on you God, that's and tough. i'll deal with it myself yeah, that's um, I, I definitely miss him being there yeah yeah people think that we're all we can all take this shit because we deal with it every day and we can take somebody shitting on us on the internet or whatever they say they say things like just don't read it or whatever and it's like you know yeah i've even said that before i've told my wife just quit reading that shit you know what i mean quit reading it it, it's just gonna it's just gonna eat you up just quit reading it but at the same time everybody goes to bed and i'm sitting there reading it you yeah. know what i mean and i'm just going how can they fucking really believe that that's who i am you know like that's i fucking i'd help anybody out there i'd give anybody my fucking shirt off my back you know and how the fuck can they think that that's really who i am but <clears throat> you know that's 10 percent of your life that they get to see and they get to judge you on it and that's uh that's tough, man. It really is. So. I mean, we yeah, we all get bashed on. I mean, I got bashed on that that same night that he got bashed on for 
wanting to bitch slap Asian. But what they didn't show is the reason I was pissed off is I opened the door and there's 10 cameras and 30 fucking people standing at the door of my shop when I had told them, do not film here because I don't want fucking people knowing where I keep my car. I opened the door. They had all snuck in, shut farm trucks, truck off, rolled it up there. I opened the door and there's five cameras in my face and 30 people. What they didn't show is me chasing the fucking camera crew around. I was going to kick the shit out of anybody I could have got my hands on. Because <laughs> he don't dial 911. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no. where it ain't, right? Once all, I get pissed yeah, off, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Make it where it wasn't fun. Yeah. Yeah. We've all we've all um, been in those situations where the producers and stuff things start to get stale or they start to get weird, and, and everybody would be in a good mood, and then they have to spice things up. That's their job, and some of them do it conniving, backstabbing yes. kind of ways, and yes. some some of them do it more more with you than against you, and and you have to you know you have to get in with with the producer a certain you know a certain relationship that you can all, you know, deal with each other. And, but in the beginning, man, there was a lot of times where shit like that happened where they try to turn me against Sean. They try to turn, you know, us against flip. They tried to make all kinds of shit happen. Yeah. And you know, it wasn't us, you know what I mean? And, and it's, it's nice whenever we get to be us because there are real fucking arguments. There are real fights. There are real yeah, screaming matches. They don't have matches. to make up all the drama. No, we, we have ha plenty. of. It'll come. Drama. Yeah, it'll yeah. come. And they and they were doing that stuff. The hell, there was sometimes there was more drama behind the cameras than there was on the cameras. You know what I mean? And more drama us yelling at them than we were yelling at each other. Yeah. So, you know, that's what we're we're. And when that this, happens, the show goes downhill. Right, and and it, we proved it. You know what I mean? And this next season that's coming out, man. I mean, it's it's some of the most real shit we've ever done. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Real real racing, real fucking fighting, real arguments, real screaming matches, and. We're getting back to doing what we do, and and this and this this next one coming up is going to be even better. I mean, we're gonna we're really gonna blow it out, and hopefully, you know, Brandon can come out a little bit, and we can we can kind of get back to doing what we do. You know what I mean? And 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 if they, you know, whatever we got to do, if they shit on him, you know, then he just fucking don't have one. Don't even you know, don't even have a Facebook or whatever the fuck they're. Well, I I got him to come out a few more times. I've and seen him every once in a while, but he pretty much stays away from everybody because he, the cameras he, are there. Yeah, he don't want to get hung up in some drama shit and have, you know, I mean, he's gun shy of that shit, and I can't say I blame him. No, no, I don't, I don't blame him at all. So but, he pretty much sticks around the trailer and stays by my car, and he damn sure watches them when they go to stick and GoPros. He will crawl in somebody's <laughs> ass if he thinks they're going to scratch that car. Yeah, yeah. And they will scratch the fuck they out of it. They will. They're tape door. fucking everywhere. They'll slam a fucking door. Nobody knows the kind of shit that, that irritates you, you know. But, I mean, if you're It took me is... two hours to get the fucking tape off of that roll cage yeah. Yeah. when we were working on it. Oh, dude, they run there. tape across my fucking original dashboard of my car one time. When they ripped the tape up, it peeled all the fucking color off the dash. Yep. They fucking... We bought a old truck one time that had yeah like, that we used the farm truck yeah the, in the, the, in the fake farm, farm truck. truck deal that we we bought that truck and it had a perfect dashboard in it like perfect. factory no cracks like, or none it's the hardest fuck to find a truck with an original dash like that that was not cracked all the shit and first thing they did is fucking mounted a GoPro to it and, and it was the clamp one and they clamped, they clamped it down it to it on and the it cracked fucking it. yeah cracked it all the way across we were just like God are you damn fucking it, kidding you know? me. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's what happens when you got people that have no clue about cars at all. Right, and it's hard to yell shit. at them because they don't fucking know. Their job is just to just to make us look good, and mm -hmm. so we we got to be able to help them make us look good without fucking our shit up. But if we're not paying attention because we're doing other shit, then and then nobody understands why. Well, why did he get mad over something that small on TV? Well, you you know you may not know that we've been pissed off all day because they've been <laughs> fucking our shit up or whatever. And then you know, well, we've been mad since this morning. Yeah, they got stuck in the mud as soon as they pulled into the yard. We tell them oh, to stay off God, the grass, and yeah. they pull in the yard and get all stuck. They fucking buried three vans in my yard before, <laughs> and then they used anything that they could to try to throw underneath the tires to get it out. And then when they finally got out, they left all that shit in the fucking ruts in my drive. <laughs> I mean, there was cardboard, there was two by fours. There was limbs from trees, everything just in rocks. my yard, in all them rocks, in all them ruts. And, you know, but their job is to, to make us look good, and, and they got to do whatever they can do to make us look good, and we we have to deal with it on both sides. And I'm sure we piss them off on a regular basis. Yeah, I'm we sure. Don't, we don't understand the way they dress or the way they talk or the way they act. We don't understand the food they eat. and so Different you know, breed of people. Yeah, and, and so I'm sure it's a, it's a mutual hatred. But it's also, you know, it also makes for great television. But yeah. But that's, you know, 10% of Brandon, you know what I mean? So hopefully he can come back out. Hopefully we can, you know, get back to 
where you you and him can can have fun and do the fist bump before you race because that's yeah. fucking badass, dude. I yeah. only I only hope that when I'm old enough or when my kids are old enough that I'm not so crippled I can't climb in a race car where he can come with me and and my boy can do that same type of shit. That's fucking badass. Well, I mean, I, I mean I, that was, that was normal routine, you know. Yeah. I never, I you know, you could stand there and pull me up all day long, but until he opened that door, fist bumped me and told me, "Be careful, Dad." That was just part of the routine. That's that kind of calmed me down and got me ready to do my thing. I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about. I got the same type of deal with my crew guys. And certain things, yeah. you know, certain things have to be done or you just don't feel like you did it right. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I mean, hell, I you enjoy got a my dad being there with me. You mm -hmm. know I mean? He don't do a whole lot. He, he But that he, he knows, you know? I mean, and and just him being there, it, it's it's really cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know? It makes a yeah. big difference when you got your people with you. I yeah. mean, hell, my boy's my pride and joy. My son, my daughter. You know, they're both my pride and joy, and I, I really enjoyed him being there. I mean, nothing makes you feel better than to bust somebody's ass in front of your son. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Oh, yeah, when, you're, when your kid thinks you're Superman, it's mm -hmm. a fucking amazing Fuck feeling. Fuck yeah, I mean. You know, one of these days, my kids are going to realize that I'm not as cool as they think I am, but for right now, I'm fucking big chief on Street Outlaws, and they think that's fucking cool, so I'm going to ride that one for sure hell yeah i mean but you're i can't imagine people picking on my boys i mean you know yeah i would fucking there's no way not to i get don't get pissed don't, off when that yeah. happens i mean even if he's in the fucking wrong i'm still gonna go to bat for him any day of the week you have to i'll, bro. I'll die for my fucking kids it yeah. don't matter and these are things that i didn't even understand until having kids and, and and my kids are growing up and they're having their own little social lives and stuff you know and it's like i didn't even you know understand it before but i mean goddamn, you're right i mean if he, I don't care if he's in the wrong or not, let's let's rumble. You know what I mean? Let's oh, yeah. do it. I'm, Three things you, know. you don't fuck with: my family, my skittles, or my beef turkey. <laughs> 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 oh shit! That's awesome, dude. All right, Kentucky. Yes. I feel like we have to do a pretty 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 good segment of Facebook questions. Yeah, huh? there's so, there's plenty of them. I think can I go probably, smoke now? <laughs> <There's> <laughs> can, <probably, laughs> can y'all do this without we'll keep, me? Yeah, we'll keep this short. Bro. All right, so there's probably more there's probably more comments on this one than I've ever seen on. A lot of people want to know. Hey, a lot of people on. have have been right. wanting him to come on. So uh, well, people, he's here. I, I'm just gonna ask this one real quick. I don't know who it's directed towards, but who would win a fight between a polar bear and a lion? <laughs> I don't, I don't know, guys. It's well, just that's a question. Weird. That's a weird question because obviously a fucking polar bear would win. I yeah. agree. I, mean, I geez, agree. Can't, why polar, would you even ask that question? Polar bear would fuck that lion. I mean, up. they're like two thousand yeah, pounds, they and they're they're fucking. They can't feel shit because they're yeah. frozen, yeah. right? So that lion would get fucking. That yeah. lion would be lunch. Yeah, yeah that polar it bear would drop, drop kick him in the street. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Monza, have you ever lost your sleeves to Derek? Ooh. I have not. You haven't. I, no, hey, there's very few people. And I won't show. ever. Hey, three said, people. And I what? And I won't ever. <laughs> <laughs> if I lose, if I lose a race with Derek, I'll keep rolling that bitch right down the road all the way home. <laughs> You'll drive till you get home or run out of fuel. <laughs> can, then I'll be on the phone. Come get me. <laughs> hey, there's three people in this room though. There's that's like the majority. Everybody else on the show pretty much has. Oh right? yeah, none of us three have, have us lost. Three. No. Nice. None of us have lost. Nice job, guys. I don't job, plan guys. on starting now either. <laughs> Hell no. I want him to stay away from me. I got to yeah. race him. I got to come back up. I'm going to have to soon, too. <sighs> Better start doing curls. Yep. Getting ready. What, what else we got? <laughs> Monza, what's your closest call with the cops? St. Louis. Oh, yeah, that was close. We all sit there for three hours in our cars with the roads blocked off. I got Brandon sitting in the Monza oh, with me, and he's 13 years old. I forgot about that. That was a long time. And I time thought ago. we were all going to jail that night. Yep. That was um, St. Louis. What was that? 2000. As when I first met y'all. I didn't have the night. Chief said, fuck yeah, he's going to race on this <laughs> yeah. road because I told him this road's safe. <laughs> he said, Monza's going to race on this road because I'm fucking telling him he's going to race on this road. And Monza's just well, in his car going, hell Monza's, yeah. Smoking Monza's a cigarette. <laughs> well, Monza's sitting in his car, and I walked over and I said, hey, the road's shit. You know, this wasn't this was way before the TV show. This was just oh, us this, was this was whenever I first met you guys. This was, this almost, was the first trip I made yeah, out of town with you guys. Eight or ten years ago, we're standing on the side of the road in St. Louis. And Twelve thousand dollar cash. Was Twelve thousand dollars on the line, and uh, Mons is sitting in his car. He's gonna race. He's got to race a uh, uh, basically a pro mod back then to us. Zygote so from, uh, oh, from God, Texas, it was. and he was gonna he had to race him, and everybody was worried about the road because it was pitted and bumpy and it was fucked. <laughs> Uh, no motherfucking shit. small block 355 with a plate on it and i'm fixing to run a pro mod 
Hey, the wheelie bars on that dude's car were longer than the Monza. <laughs> yeah, they, they were. They were. Yeah. And uh, and I remember everybody bitching about the road, and I walked over to Monza, and I said, hey, you good? And he goes, if you say I'm good, I'm good. He said, what do you think of the road? I said, I think it's total shit, but I don't think you got nothing to worry about. And he goes, all right, well, he said, so so you're good. You said, I don't even need to get out and look at it then. So you sat in the car. When I said that, everybody freaked out because they thought I was talking shit or I was saying that you're going to do what I tell you to do. But when I said that, it was because – they were trying to count you out of the race because he's yeah. already, he's he's pulling up and well, he's because like, he didn't want to race on it. No, that other guy didn't want to race on that road, and so he was and like, he was trying to get Monza like, well, involved with yeah, not doing like, it. I don't think we're gonna, I don't think we're gonna do it. We're not gonna race or whatever. And I was like, what? And he goes, well, you know, Monza, he don't want to race on it at all. Look at him. And I was like, Monza's gonna race on this fucking road because I told him he's gonna race on this road, and I told him it's fucking safe. And they were like, whoa. I was like, fuck yeah. And I <laughs> and I looked over at Monza, and I was just kind of like. Hope you know what I mean, player. Hope yeah. you know. Hey, Monza's that, you know, over there. Hey, calm, yeah. nope. cool, collected, yep. smoking a cigarette smoking in the Monza. Yep. Didn't even have his helmet on yet. And pulled up there and fucking raced and went down that road and beat the guy. <laughs> yep. So. I mean, he's Chiefs always took care of us. Yeah. You know, if he says I'm, if I'm he says gonna, my car, I can get it down the fucking road, then I would trust him. You know, yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna throw you down a fucking unsafe road. I knew that you'd been down roads that were worse. I mean, I've been down Guthrie, dude. When you've been down Guthrie, it's tough to it's tough to find a shittier road than that. So, you know, yeah, that was and then. He went down the road, he won, and then the cops showed up, and we were miles from our trailers. And yeah, we had in. drove our cars over there. Yeah, and God, I thought we were all going to jail. And I was telling my buddies, if I go to jail, y'all make sure Brandon gets home. <laughs> my wife will kill me if if he don't come home. Yeah. She probably don't give a shit what happens to me, but make y'all make sure Brandon gets home. <laughs> yeah. Good times. Man. Okay, what else? Do you work as hard as Derek? <laughs> Come Fuck on, man. No. Nobody, but, works, as nobody as works as hard as Derek. I mean, yeah, he gets writer's cramp and shit. <laughs> writer's cramp. He works too damn hard for you to be fucking with him. Yeah. <laughs> works too damn hard. Why do you hate Baron? Ooh. Baron's a fucking douchebag. <laughs> oh, Plain and simple. He will Plain. stab you in the back and buy shit out from under you ch cheaper, or he'll pay money to st more money to steal it from you. I mean, he's done it to me several fucking times. He's a fucking wannabe street outlaw. Holy Him and fucking white rhino ought to get an apartment together. Oh, <laughs> oh damn. God damn, Monza's going off in the studio right now. Holy shit, he said. Okay, it. people starting to see why we like Monza. Now you know. Now fucking you know. white rhino talked more shit on us than anybody when we started doing this show. How we were fucking sellouts. And then he sucked everybody's dick he could to get his opportunity to get on there and Fuck fucking race. Yeah. Plain and simple. Monza. 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 Oh, Dude, that's fucking damn. awesome. I love it. He's going off. Yep. I just tell yep. it like I see it. Hey, yeah. calls it like you see it, big dog. Yeah, hey. I think okay. everybody saw it that yeah, way. Yeah, you don't you know I'm right. One. Everybody saw it that way. Yeah, you don't dial that one. Street outlaw. Street outlaw. Street <laughs> Oh, oh, dude, guys, yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got to say this, okay? So, on the promos of the show, I always try and say it because they make me say it 50 different times. Coming up on Street Outlaws or whatever, right? Street Outlaws. And they make me say it 50 fucking times. So, I get to the point where I, I just I just goof out and I just start saying it as fucking stupid as I can. Well, those are the ones they use. So, I've learned to just say it stupid. So, I'll say like, next time on Street Outlaws. And I'll just say it like that. And they fucking use it and they love that shit. So now that's why I do it. Well, we're all sitting out there at a race and we're filming this night and we're all sitting out there and something had happened and uh we were they were cleaning the road or fuck I don't even remember. We were waiting on somebody to put plugs in our car or something. Yeah, yeah. It was taking fucking hour. We're all sitting on the curb basically. And it was it was Monza was feeling good that night. His car wasn't there. He Monza, had a big cup of something. <laughs> and he uh, was feeling good. He he was he, he was he was in a good mood. Oh yeah. He had the jeans with all the rips in them, you know. He was yeah, ready to go yeah, that yeah. night. <laughs> he yeah. he comes over there. We're all sitting on the curb and it's like me and then just down from me is White Rhino, Baron, <laughs> who else was down there, dude? I don't know. There was five or six people down there sitting down there yeah. next to us, and Monza walks up and he just starts fucking dying laughing. We're like, and he comes and whispers in my ear. He wouldn't <laughs> tell nobody what he was laughing. At. We're all just like, what the fuck is he? He's just dying laughing, and we're in tears trying to figure out what he's laughing about. And he whispers something in Sean's ear, and then Sean falls out. I mean, he's he's in tears laughing, and I'm like, what the fuck? I gotta know what the fuck this is. This has gotta be the funniest thing ever. So finally, Monza comes and sits down next to me. He's giggling so hard he can't even say it. And he leans over and he tries to whisper it, but it comes out pretty loud. And he goes, look over there. He goes, street outlaw. Dude, I fucking lost it. 
I fucking <laughs> lost it. So from then on, every time he sees them or sees a group of wannabe street outlaws, he'll come over and go, look, look, street outlaws. And I fucking die laughing, dude. So when you hear me it saying so it like funny. that and you hear us say that, dude, it's because it's just the goofiest shit we could think yeah, of. So if now. you hear us saying that, then look around. <laughs> because because <laughs> one of them does not belong. <laughs> and, and that's kind of what he was getting yeah, at. Was is very, all the no, people who was. didn't belong was over talking to Chief. Yeah, and was, that's what made it even funnier was all the people who... No, they were sitting like two yeah. people down from Chief trying to listen to everything <laughs> yeah. he was saying. They're doing yeah. this. Yeah. Try, was, trying to get in on stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Baron, White Rhino, and, and, and a few guys. And God, dude, it... It was so funny. I, I and died. he was giggling, and we were all we were. And then all the more giggling. he giggled, the the more I laughed. Dude, Nothing dude. more irritating than somebody getting on there for one freaking race, and then the next day you look on Facebook and they're advertising they want to do events all over the United States. Yeah, at all the pawn shops. Give me a fucking yeah. break. As and seen, the five and dime. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why, come, yeah come, as seen on street outlaws. Yeah. God, that's funny. Yeah, coin off laundry mat, you know, over there signing autographs. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting out front of the Dollar General. Yeah, I'll be over at the Southside Dollar General, you know, from four to six. Yeah, we're going to have the white rhino on the property. They got Sharpies in sale inside. White going to be on the property. Shirts, hats, koozies, <laughs> keychains, we got it all. Hmm. All right. Oh, Sorry. Man. Okay, a lot of people have been seeing – pictures of your car on Facebook and you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to, but they were wondering, you know, what kind of, you know, wintertime mods are you, are you making to your car? Just mainly a major diet. Um, it's going to be a tube chassis car. I mean, yeah, everybody calls it a fucking pro mod, but <laughs> it's a, the wheelbase is hey, still stock still quarters and, and roof, right? Still quarters, still roof. Go. I mean, strut front end. I mean, I got to make the fucking car lighter, you know? To compete, it's got to be lighter. Evolution. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. Got to evolve. I mean, when when we started this deal, we put a big ass freaking bullseye on our back, and now we got to do what we got to do to remain at the top of our game. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, For eventually, sure. the motors get bigger, the turbos well get bigger. Well said. Well said. More nitrous yeah. kits, bigger tires, lighter cars. It's just evolution, man. It's how you race. I mean, I don't plan on laying down. I'm not gonna make the bitch. You know, it's gonna get faster every year. Yep. I'm old, but I ain't dead. Yep. <laughs> Motherfuckers, I'm 49 years old, but I still hold my own pretty fucking good. And I believe <laughs> that that no matter what happens, no matter where this goes, there will never be a time that you draw Monza's name out of the hat and, and you, you think, go, yes. yeah, and you think to yourself, yeah. "Good job, no. nice." You know, what I mean, definitely every time, not me. Every time you draw Monza, and every time you line up next to Monza, you're going to be thinking, "Shit," yeah. the same thing you're always thinking. I don't think yeah. me and Monza's ever had a race that wasn't within half a car. Mm. Yeah, they've all been pretty good. I mean, but, I you know when I get, when it gets to the point where I can't be competitive, and I'm talking about with you guys because you guys are our fastest. And we're talking about with you. We're the same. We're all. Uh, I mean, when I get to that point where I can't be competitive, there's no reason for me to do this any longer. And I'm not ready to fucking lay down and give up yet. Fuck no, you ain't trying to go you, hang out at the Dollar Central. Be. Fuck no. <laughs> you could go do appearances with the White Rhino. No, I'm not going to be that guy sitting over there they look at and go, Street Outlaw. <laughs> <laughs> and then you look around and you're not laughing, but everybody else is. And you're like, what the fuck? I'm him. <laughs> yeah, motherfuckers are laughing at me. <laughs> uh, I'll be breaking my other fucking hip. That's <laughs> not going to happen. Yeah. What else you got, Kentucky? Oh, this is a pretty good question. Would you ever consider going turbo, or would you stay with nitrous? Ooh. For now, I'll stay nitrous. I'm not saying when this is all over, maybe turbo, when I have time to learn it. Right now, the learning curve would kill me, and I'd be bumped off the fucking list before I could get it figured out. Yeah, that's the that's the yeah, thing is when we do these difference. seasons, man, when you, when you start filming – we usually film eight or ten episodes in eight to twelve weeks, so we're filming one episode a week. You, there's no time to learn anything. If nope. you if your shit's off, you're gonna start losing races. Or I mean, you know. fucking turbos are cool. I mean, when Birdman shit pulls to the line and it's <laughs> spitting and puking and farting all over the fucking place, that's that's, that's cool as shit. Yeah, they yeah. are cool, but there is a learning curve, and it's a different type of racing. It's nowhere near the same type of racing that that, that the nitrous cars, you know, are able to do. So it you there's definitely a lot of learning curve there. I wouldn't recommend it in in the middle of a season or if you only got a month before the next season you know what i mean there's there's better things you can do in that time but yeah you know if you ever get a big break and you want to learn it we're down to help you know? i mean and I'm, my, my my thoughts are maybe when this show's over i would like to do drag week and in order for me to do that i need a turbo car yeah it, it helps 
It yeah. definitely helps. Yeah, when to compete at the highest level of drag week and stuff like that, the, the turbos are, are are really the way to go because yeah. everything else is just hard on the street. It's hard to drive on the street. I with, mean, with the, they're fast bitches. Both y'all's cars, Lutz's car, they're fast as fuck and they're cool as fuck. I mean, it's just right now it would take a lot of money to change it over and it'd be a big i mean i have a hard time fucking reading data yeah. I, you know i used to let brandon do all that and he don't show up anymore so now i'm trying to figure out still trying to figure that shit out yeah, so we were at a race and i lost my data card for my uh, data logger and i couldn't find one and i was like i was like well monza's got a, got one of those he's got the same one i got at least should go over and ask him if we can borrow his card and i, I think his words were well, yeah, I don't know what to do with it or what what I'm even supposed to Where is the fucking it anyway? Yeah, I mean, that motherfucker, I've never pulled it out. There's probably 150 <laughs> passes on it. <laughs> it's full. It's pulled up. Yeah, that's great. This is a question for all you guys. What was your first car? 1968 Chevy Noel. 1970 Dodge Challenger was my first one, but my dad Damn. sold it three days before I got my license because he went and drove that bitch and figured out it'd lay fucking rubber until you let off. Motor <laughs> Did you have a mullet? So, huh? I've seen pictures of you from back in the day. No, nah, mine wasn't a mullet. My front was as long as my back. I wore it Dave in ponytail. Dave had a good mullet. Dave, yeah. had, oh, Dave, had, Dave had So my actual first car that I got to drive was a 68 El Camino. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Fucking oh, A, yeah. man. Fucking right. That's America What'd right you do there. What you the bed yeah. of that thing? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to get that you. That motherfucker trouble. was a turd. It had a 307 with a two-speed power glide. It wouldn't do a burnout on gravel unless you had your buddies <laughs> bouncing up and down on the back of the car. No, but you could hit the highway in first gear at about 80 mile an hour. Yeah, shit about 70, shit. slam that bitch in low, and then she'd take off. It was something. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. That's great. Uh, my first car was a 1972 Pontiac Le Mans. Nice. And eventually turned, turned into it into a GTO. GTO. <laughs> and then it's eventually fun. turned that into a yard sale. Nice. So. Uh, mine was a 68 Chevy long bed pickup, C10. Fuck yeah. Sean, well, farm those. truck. Sean truck. Farm truck. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Whatever happened to Manza's Monza? Wait a minute, Kentucky. What the fuck was your first car, bitch? You don't get out of that. It was a, like a S10. Yeah, it? it was a 91 S10. What the fuck? Don't have that. What's wrong it, it with that? It had S10? hydraulics on it. It was pretty sweet. That is fucking sweet. Be, be proud of your heritage. <laughs> what, color, what color was it? Oh, it was bright ass. It looked like Boosted's car. <laughs> bright ass yellow. It was ugly. I, I thought it was cool, though. Hell yeah, you did. Mine was primary. Had a, had a neon neon light for a shifter knob. Monkey, what was your first car? I had a 1983 Toyota Celica. An 83 Toyota <laughs> Celica. I wish you still had that. Oh, I still do. Do. Was it a four-door? Oh, you <laughs> do? Door. What do you mean? It looks like a Mustang. Oh, what, like do you, uh, what do you mean you wish he still had it? That's Monkey. Sweet. He still has everything. Oh, you still got it? Like, yeah. like when we. That's why I had to clean out the fucking He won't oh, tell you what kind of shape it's in. That's so much. He's still yellow and white. He still has it. He probably painted it himself. Still has the. I did. You should put a 2JZ in that bitch. I wish. Phantom, your first car. 88 GMC, oh, your dad still has it. Dead low rider. Was it? Earlsboro. Earl's that's where they, Earl's that's where they build good chassis <laughs> out there. Old Don Dahl. <laughs> yeah. All right. On. That's a fucking fun question. We should ask everybody. Wow, that yeah. Question. No, that is a cool question. We should put that on our top 10 list. But then there's not a. That's four. not just a. Yeah. That's not, that's really not a multiple yeah. choice, not is really it? Multiple choice. No. I guess okay. we can make it whatever the fuck we want, though, right? Yeah. It's our list. We'll, yeah, we'll worry about that later. Yeah. What else you got? How light are you trying? What 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 weight are you trying to get to on your car? Or is that your question? Or no, yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's weird. weird. It's weird how that's kind of I was weird. just trying to you didn't the way, read uh, it. Yeah, the way they. I wonder if, if I mean, it kind of seems like Kentucky's doing some work yeah, for us right now. Hey, yeah, hey, what 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 the hell's going on here? <laughs> He's like, I mean, you don't have to answer it. It was, it was on here. It, it don't matter. I'm we're shooting for twenty five hundred with me in the car. Holy shit! Nice. That's a fucking white bitch there. Damn. <laughs> that, that, that motherfucker i guarantee you when t terry murphy goes through one of them there's not anything left on there that don't have to absolutely be there i have uh i have seen the the i have seen the aftermath of terry uh, terry murphy race cars and blake housley when terry and blake jump on one there will not be anything on the car that that, that doesn't have to be there and anything that does have to be there will either have holes shot through it or it'll be made of titanium or carbon fiber those guys are serious i went up there last week 
and I got me this cool on-off lever for my nitrous line from NX. And by God, I got my ass chewed out for an hour because that son of a bitch was too heavy. <laughs> We're going to put this one on here. This one's six ounces lighter. Yep. Six ounces That's the way lighter. they are. That's yeah. the way they are. Dude. But I'm he said he said every little bit adds up, and, you know, it, it's going to be light. Yeah. Yeah, those guys are – I'm scared to death for them to see the car, my car now, because, you know, they built the chassis in mine, and they, they originally put that thing together, and then now we've – We've worked on it for a few few weeks now, and I'm scared to death if he uh, if he shows up and and Blake or Terry see the car now that they're gonna pick it apart for the heavyweight shit that I put on it, you know, because they're just everything with those guys is is lightweight for sure. So mm -hmm. hell, I was telling him that we couldn't fit the Pro Mod turbos behind the tires, like we had to go to the smaller turbos, the like my the same shit turbos I've been running the well. They're, they're fucking badass turbos, really. Like, I mean, I call them shit turbos because they're not pro mod turbos, you know, but everybody runs those big Damn. pro mod 88 Damn. turbos. And I run the smaller cast, you know, 88 turbo, but it's like, I don't know, it works really well with my combination. I'll just put it that way. It's a really good front half type deal rather than a back half type deal. But, and yeah, they've, you know, they're fucking eight years old or something crazy. So anyway, long story short, I was telling him I couldn't fit the Pro Mod turbos on the car. And then he said, well, what's the weight difference? And I said, well, the Pro Mod turbos are six, pound, six pounds heavier than mine. He goes, I don't give a fuck how badass those turbos are. No turbo is worth 12 pounds. And I was like, really? <laughs> and he was like, I don't give a shit. He goes, if they make lighter turbos than that, put them on. I was like, okay, man. Like, those guys are serious about weight. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's got a different radiator, different fan. We, they took the whole front subframe. The, the front subframe out of that car weighed 230 pounds. After all the lightning that had been done on it originally, so I can definitely see five or six hundred pounds he's took out of the car. I don't know what he'll have to put back in it. Yeah, those guys are wicked smart and, and serious about weight for sure. And I'm pretty sure that they listen to the podcast. Not a hundred percent, but number seven. I think yeah, they're they like, do. I'm, they're, I'll be back up there tonight. Oh, right on. Yeah. Hell yeah. Whatever happened to the guy? That you roundhouse kick breaking into a smart <laughs> truck, and have you ever considered a career in the MMA? No MMA for me. I'm too old for that shit. Uh, actually, the guy I kicked called the police on me. <laughs> called the what? The police. <laughs> police. Called the police. And they showed up and asked him if he had stole my shit, and the dumb bastard admitted to stealing my tackle box. So You're, they took his ass to jail. But he called the cops on you kicking him? Yeah. After he took your shit? Yeah. Well, see there? It never pays to call the cops. <laughs> <laughs> the cop come in my house, and he's like, are you all right? Dude, I walked across the street into the house with a broken hip. Jesus Christ. And once I said, I told my old lady, I sat there about an hour. I'm like, I sit here and shake this off. I'll be fine. And it, it was no shaking it off. Nope. Man's an American badass. That's what your shirt should say. Yep. American badass. Yeah, a man's got to do what a man's got. I ain't going to get bulldogged by nobody. Fuck it. <laughs> I mean, that was the third or fourth time. He had stole my ladders and all kinds of shit. I knew who it was. My neighbors had seen him. <laughs> I just happened to run across him walking down the road as I was coming back from eating dinner, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. I, just, I lost it. I didn't, even, I didn't even think about what I was doing. This is another good one. Uh, <clears throat> this is for everybody, too. Uh what was your first race car? Uh, same. My, my every, same. Every, everything I've ever been in has been a race car. <laughs> Even your 60s? <laughs> Even yeah, your I, I thought it was, at the time, hell yeah, I it, thought it was a race it had, car. It's got a fucking yeah. lightning bolt on yeah, it, doesn't it? It had a clutch. <laughs> that motherfucker had a clutch. Hell yeah, it was a race it's car. Ever, <laughs> <laughs> what you, my first fast car or the first car I raced? Yeah, That's exactly. That's the problem. We that, raced that, everything. There's a big yeah. difference. Ba basically race race car i guess fast car whatever mine was a 69 camaro then 72 oh. le mans <laughs> Still waiting. my yeah. first one that was half ass fast was probably i had the 77 camaro that ran pretty good but right after that i built I the 70 nova that was faster i bet you did have a 77 you used to have camaro. a 70 nova yeah fuck yeah yeah you got any pictures of it no, when my house burnt down, I lost all the pictures. Oh, I don't have nothing. I lost everything I owned in '99 when my house burnt down. Jesus Christ! I don't even have pictures of my kids when they were little. Oh, that's no shit. Mm -hmm. I got out with a pair of boxer shorts, and that was it. 
<laughs> you probably still got those. <laughs> I, dude, I I ended up at fucking uh, Red Cross. Put us in a fucking hotel oh, and crazy. church donated his fucking clothes because we had no insurance in 99 and absolutely had. I got out with my fucking boxer shorts on in my truck. I got my truck out of the garage. Jesus Damn, Christ. And we lost everything we owned. Everything I've got now I've acquired since. It was the night of the Super Bowl in 1999. Our uh, dryer outlet shorted out, caught the house on fire while we were in bed. And my old lady just happened to hear something funky and woke us up. And we got everybody out of the house just in time. Wow. Holy shit. I'll be checking my dryer plug tonight. <laughs> yeah. I'll unplug mine from now on. Holy until I need shit. it. <clears throat> How many times a week do you have the urge to slap Chief and Sean? <laughs> <laughs> At least five cents. <laughs> uh, I don't, I'm not around them no, that ask much. Him that, ask him that Tuesday morning after the show airs Monday night. <laughs> and we talk shit on him on the show. Ask him yeah. Tuesday morning if he wants to smack us, and I guarantee you he does. Yeah. I got nothing against Chief and Sean. We, you, we love people you. people think i do or they think we clash but i mean we have our differences but i think we're friends yep well of course we're i friends. mean you, either one of you motherfuckers could call me at four o'clock in the morning and tell me you were broke down and i'd jump my truck and come help you yep. and, and same same same, to same. Us. same here would you rather sleep in the same bed as sean on a pissy drunk <laughs> night or get beat by chuck <laughs> oh why they gotta bring chuck in hey, I don't, poor chuck I don't want anybody pissing on me. I'd rather get beat by Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do your uh, your yeah. top ten list? Yeah, let's rock to the top ten yeah. here, and we're going to let Manza go smoke. <laughs> All right, here we go. Just like we have a top ten list on the show, we have one here in the studio, or whatever you call this fucking place full yeah. of bullet holes. Check. Fucking... Uh, all right, so top ten questions. You, I'm gonna fire them off at you, and you say the first thing that comes to mind, or what you know, what you what you favor towards, carbureted or fuel injected? Carburetor. Boom. Now, at one time, you were thinking about it. I was until I seen some of the issues <laughs> some of the people were having, well, and like what, like who? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna go there. Come on now. Uh, look, Dominator and Derek. Yeah. I mean. Like I said, I have a hard enough time reading fucking race pack data. I don't need to be making no fuel maps and fuel tables and all that bullshit. Yeah. All right. Number nine, farm truck or Asian? Asian. Really? Oh, oh wow. That was quick, dude. It was. That was quick. Uh, number eight, big tire or small tire? Big. Oh, but you had fun on small tire. I had you that. A lot of, you want a lot of racing? Racing small tires teach you how to drive for sure. Yeah, yeah. Number seven, if you were to go to the racetrack, would you rather go to a grudge race or a no prep? Grudge race. Grudge race. Grudge race. Nice. Man, I'm the same way, dude. Fucking grudge racing is fun. God damn, that shit's fun. But you got to be fast. Them dudes are fucking fast. And yeah. you got to know what fast the fuck Fast on the track about. and fast in the negotiation. Yeah, yeah you got to know what the fuck they're talking about. The thing about them motherfuckers is they, they're all <laughs> what, fucking what you, liars. What do you, what do you mean? Them? <laughs> yeah, I got a, <laughs> my car runs, <laughs> my car runs four seventies and they pull out there and run a fucking three ninety. <laughs> yeah. They are tricky. <laughs> they they are. They'll lie to you quick. Too. Lying motherfuckers. <laughs> Lying motherfuckers. Uh, oh, we're gonna get in so much trouble. Okay. Yeah. Uh number six. Marlboro Reds or Camel Filters? <laughs> Marlboro Red. Uh number five. Nitrous or turbo? We already kinda went over this, but for now nitrous. Number four. Shaved or hairy? Shaved. Ooh. <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> we ain't talking about his face. No, because he don't shave that. Uh, number three. This one's this one's gonna be tough for you because you've done both and you've you've done well with both. Small block or big block? Big block. Big block. Right on. So much more forgiving. That ain't no. It joke. is. Uh, number two. Doc or Monza? <laughs> you should have did Chief or uh, Sean. Uh, hey, there you go. Chief or Sean? Hmm. Not even going there. <laughs> Come on, Chief or Sean. Both of y'all are saying, I like them both. Right it don't matter. Big boys, we can take it. Chief no, or Sean? I like you both. Come on, pick one. Chief or Sean? <laughs> this is fucked up. Put Chief me on the spot. <laughs> That's Chief, fucked up. Chief or next, Sean? Next question, please. Chief or Sean? Come on. Chief or Sean? We're not going to get mad. My unless bad. you say Sean. My <laughs> bad. <laughs> I'm not answering it. You might as well go on. <laughs> okay. Number one, I think I know the answer. Street or track? Street. Definitely. All right. There it is. 
the very, very special edition of the Chief and Sean Show mm-hmm. with special guests. Special Manza. guests. It's Manza. in the book. So it today, is. we've been able to talk about Monza. We've talked mm-hmm. a little bit about the show we're not supposed to talk about. Street Outlaws. There we have. Nailed that part. Street Outlaws. Street, Street Outlaws. Street Outlaws. Street outlaws so if we're gonna get taken off the air it's probably gonna be now yeah i'm gonna so. get hate mail out the ass from all the albino wino fans and- <laughs> <laughs> albino wino. <laughs> that's a good one hey that's one thing we didn't really talk about is all the great one-liners that monza yeah. comes up yeah, with. remember what he called we have, the no we, show sonoma yeah the no, no show sh- noma no show noma <laughs> somebody the other day said something something might i'm like might He's like, yeah, and I'm like, Mike's what you find on a chicken's ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a lot of good. He, he came up with the whole chicken shittery. Chicken shit. The chicken Every shit. Shittery. Man, when you do came something, strictly from came Monza. From, when you say chicken shit, that's from Monza. Because everything somebody did, Monza would say, that's, that's chicken fucking chicken, chicken shit. 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 Then, we use that all the time. Chicken shittery going on. Uh, he makes it where it ain't fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Drove around him like they were tied to a stump. Like they were tied to a stump. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He got some, he's got some great one liners. He does. Yeah, he does. So. If right, they come well. natural, it's great. <laughs> if you try and fucking come up with shit like Doc, you look like a fucking dork. Wow. <laughs> he tries too hard. Yeah, he, yeah, does. he takes it to a whole other level. Uh, he sure. makes it creepy. He makes yeah, it where it ain't makes, fun. Makes it weird. <laughs> he makes it where it ain't fun. <laughs> he makes it fucking weird. Uh, we could do this all day. We could. Right. We better quit. We're out. Thanks for listening. It's a go, great show. Uh, go. Good job, Monza. Thanks for coming. Go to the, if you're me. listening on iTunes, go go write us a review. That's what That's what's going to make a difference in the charts. Uh, Speed Society hosting the uh, the podcast. You can find them all on Speed Society's website, or you can find them at MidwestStreetCars.com. Go to uh, go to support Monza Sinister Split Bumper Monza Facebook, and then hit him up on his website SinisterSplitBumper.com. All the questions we got came from the Chief and Sean Show Facebook page, and uh, thanks to our Elevens of listeners. Now we're officially right. Elevens of listeners. That's right. We're moving on up. Moving baby. on up. All right, Monza. Crank Hair Nation, rock and roll, <laughs> fucking yes. Go smoke yeah. a cig- Let's go smoke a yeah. cigarette. We're all doing the fucking heavy metal rocker fucking signals right now. All yeah. right. See you later, guys. Thank you. Take care.